And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm preparing to basically load my wallet, how you can split your UTXOs. So we're going to talk about the RBF and also the old wallet. So let's dive into it. So first, I definitely recommend you guys to use the Xers wallet because they're going to have the support built in. So if you ask me, I would definitely create another fresh new wallet. So download the Xers on your separate Google profile and then in just install that, save your secret recovery phrase and then you can transfer your funds into. So you will click on your extra wallet and then you want to click on the Bitcoin icon and then you want to click on the receive. So Bitcoin you're sending to that address and ordinals you will send to ordinals address. But we're not going to send any ordinals in here because we, we only care about the Bitcoin amount. So you just want to have some Bitcoin. Let's say you want to spend like $2,000. So if you ask me, try to allocate whatever amount you are comfortable to lose. The next step what you want to do is to essentially split your UTXOs. The first one, what you want to do is to go to Luminex website and you want to connect your wallet so in here you'll see your wallet the bitcoin wallet connected if you're using experts and once you have that you will need to split your sats into particular utxos so on the top you can see that they recommend to use at least 500,000 sats per utxo i don't think this is going to be enough for 20 minutes because the mempool is going to spike and the gas is going to be probably somewhere around maybe 500 600 maybe 700 so you want to be prepared to have different utxos in your wallet so what you can do, you can, let's say you want to have like 10 different UTXOs. You can do maybe two of the bigger sizes UTXO, maybe three. You want to do another three UTXO, which is going to be the medium size and the rest, which is going to be, let's say four, you want to do the smaller UTXOs. So let's say, as you can see, I have in this wallet already, I made some UTXOs. So I have like two of three, four of the bigger one, which is 0.005. And the rest of it, I have 300,000 starts. So essentially, let's say you want to do one UTXO of 0.005 you do 500,000 stats on the top and then uh, you want to enter the amount of UTXOs to create. And quickly, if you want to see how much this is going to be worth in dollars, you can go to the converter and you can see 1 million stats is going to um, be equal to around $600. If you do, for example, like 300,000 stats, it's going to be around $200. And you just want to be prepared. You're not going to spend that money as, un unless the gas is going to be, let's say, 1,000 stats per VByte. Uh, if the gas will be around, let's say 500, 600, it should be good with this amount that we have in here. So that's why we want to create more UTXOs that are going to be enough for, let's say, $200 transaction. Maybe the transaction will be, let's say, $80, maybe $50. So you're not going to spend the entire amount from your UTXO. The UTXO will only take the, the SAS that are necessary to pay for the transaction. And then the UTXO is going to be split and returned to your wallet and you will have small UTXO. So let's say you're going to spend this first transaction from our wallet and it's going to cost you only, let's say, like 100,000 slots. And if you want to see the converter, that will be around $60. So the remaining amount from UTXO, which is 400,000 slots, will be returned to your wallet. Then you will have smaller another UTXO in your wallet. The benefit of creating multiple UTXOs is essentially you can mint different um, runes, do it multiple runes in the same time. That's why we want to create as many different UTXO of different sizes, which depends on the network fees. So I can't really tell you how much the transaction will be worth because we don't know how congested Mempool is going to be at the time. And now whenever you're splitting your DXOs, I definitely recommend you guys to use the custom and then you want to go to Mempool and then you will see the current block value. So let's say now it's at 100 because if you're going to do, let's say medium, if you want to split up the um, UTXOs on Luminex and if you're going to do like medium or if you're going to do like fast, when the network is going to spike, you're probably never going to see your UTXOs never again. So I definitely recommend you guys to use the custom and then if you go to mempool you can see the first block has around 100 sats per vbyte you want to do a little bit above that because you want to make sure your utxo are going to be in your wallet so now for the purpose of this video i want to show you how you can use the rbf tool so this tool wasn't really added to experts wallet by default but it was already published on the official twitter if you go to it you can see that this is the trick how you can speed up your runes transaction so let's say you send already a transaction and you're minting some runes if you don't want to be sniped or if you're scared that uh, someone might front chance you and you're not going to get the rune. I want to show you how we can use this tool. And this tool is also essential if you want to speed up your transaction for ordinals, um, for runes, and also if you're splitting your UTXO. So let's say uh, you're using the tool that I showed you in a sec just a second ago. What you will do, let's say your transaction is spending, you use like 50 sats. So I just want to show you how it works. So in this example, I have 45 sats per VByte. My transaction is like delayed 30 minutes. What you'll do essentially when you use, you'll need to use this the CPFT transaction speed up tool built by experts. And here you'll need to provide your transaction ID. So to do that, let's say you have your transaction and you go to experts wallet. You'll need to go to your wallet, open your history, and then find your transaction hash. So in my case, 
this is my transaction id i want to copy it i want to go back to express um, cpfp tool then you want to paste that in so you can see transaction is unconfirmed because i sent this transaction using my unisat wallet so when you're going to be using experts you're going to have the button here to essentially speed up your transaction and then you'll need to pay for it so once you do that your transaction will show up in the first block and when this is going to be confirmed your utx souls are going to be ready to split so now once we discuss that i want to show you how you can essentially use your old wallet if you follow my previous guide so i'm assuming you're already running your old wallet server and once you have that you'll need to go ahead and connect to your wallet to essentially um, see your balances so i showed you in my previous video how you can create your wallet you should save your secret recovery phrase and once you have that for the ease of use you can go ahead and import that secret recovery phrase into unisat because old wallet and unisat uses taproot wallet so essentially you'll see your balances in your old wallet and in your in your unisat wallet so if, as you can see for now i have 0.06 btc in this wallet but you can't see that in my um, old wallet because I already sent the transaction. So when you send the transaction, you'll see that your balance is zero. And when the transaction will be confirmed, you essentially see that your amount in cardinals and also the total amount. So I will have around 600,000 sats because the sats are corresponding to your BTC balance in your wallet. So total here was only 100,000 sats because I was testing it. And once my transaction will be confirmed, my transaction will appear in this wallet again and I will have 600,000 sats. And this is essentially how you can prepare for the runes. And these transactions are already split, so we use Luminex to do that as well. Um, so essentially, the first step, you want to go ahead and get your wallet. So once you're going to be in the old wallet here, you want to do wallet receive. And that wallet that is going to show up in your old wallet when you're going to import the seed phrase to your Unisa wallet, is going to be the first one in order so this is going to be account number one so you can essentially deposit that funds to that account that you can see in here once you're going to go to your old wallet and your new wallet receive the same wallet will pop up and then um, once you have your funds in your account you essentially you can do wallet balance and you'll see your amount in total in stats in here so that's pretty much it guys and this is how you prepare for runes in the next upcoming video i'm going to be showing you how you can mint your runes essentially using different services you definitely want to see it and if you guys enjoyed this video you know what to do smash the thumbs up for the youtube algorithm comment down below what you think about this video subscribe to the channel follow me on twitter because this is where i share the alpha and i'll see you in the next one